selling my silver. Wait, wait, wait. I sold all my silver. <laughs> all right, all right. Did you see your face? <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry for clickbaiting you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whew, that was a good one. I know. Yeah, you right there. I know. I, I know you thought I sold my silver, didn't you? No, 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 no. But matter of fact, what would cause me to sell my silver? It's a real good thing to think about because, you know, when you can think about stuff like that, then you can try to avoid it from happening, right? So in this video, I want to talk about what would have to happen. Like I'm talking about, really, what would have to happen to cause me to sell all my silver? Thank you guys so much for watching another video of Urban Lifestyle where our goal is to help you guys create a better life. And you guys can help out by leaving a subscribe, leaving a comment, leaving a thumbs up. Find me on my social media platform, Urban Lifestyle 1989. And don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys get future notifications of my future videos. Let's go. Make sure you guys check out ubilights.com so you guys can get awesome t-shirts just like this. And also, if you want to help support the channel by buying silver, you guys can do so as well at ubilife.com. Question of the day. Like, honestly, I feel like I asked this already, but honestly, can you guys think? I mean, like, just really put your mind to it. Because if you put your mind to it, you're going to really, really try to figure out a way to counteract that situation. All right? But what can possibly happen for you to sell all of your precious metals, not just silver, your gold as well. Comment down below, let me know. So let's really think about it. For me to sell all my silver, a couple of things would have to happen, like all synchronized all at once, all right? Number one, I would have to be extremely, extremely stupid with money. I'm talking about every money I get, I just go to the strip club like I used to do. I'll just fix up my car, put rims on my car, do so much stuff, alarm stuff, tilt alarm, which I've done before. Uh, I would have to buy all the games, all the clothes, all the Jordans that I can possibly get, which I did before. Just spend stupid stuff, like just buy a scooter for just to have, just to say I have a scooter, which I did before. Buy thousands of thousands of dollars of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, which I've did before. I would have to be extremely stupid with my cash. Like, I mean, the most stupidest person on earth will look at me and be like, bruh, he's stupid. Like, I don't think I'm the stupidest person on earth. You're the stupidest person on earth now. Like, I have to be extremely not, really, like, don't really care about what I'm purchasing. Now, I don't see that situation happening anytime, like, ever. But who knows? Let's say one day I just woke up stupid. And then I start spending crazy cash. And then I don't have any money. And you know, like something really bad, like, how can I say? Like something major, like extremely major would have to happen for me not to have any money. Like, I mean, like, honestly, like major. The only way I can see myself not having money is if the current money I have is at zero and most likely that's more likely to happen before I don't have any money and I'm not trying to brag you know <laughs> yeah I'm not trying to brag at all like I got money but besides that I try to make sure even with the amount of money I do have I try to make sure that that don't happen but hey I can't be like I can't really brag because if I lose my job I mean I'm still gonna have cash flow coming in because we own other stuff but at the same time my job is like a good what? My job is a good 50% of the income that comes in this household. All right? So if I lose my job, then maybe, but still, I'll still have some cash coming in that I'll be able to take care of everything where I don't have to dip into my reserves. That being said, number three, something major has to happen. Like the biggest emergency that, that was just wipe out everything that would wipe out my two to three maybe even more years of income that i actually have just in case you know my reserve cash you know that would have to wipe out all that out all at once and not just that like i don't even have more like with all that i just still don't have enough it has to be an emergency where i really need to get this thing done and I don't have enough, and I would have to sell everything I have, including my silver, just to make sure this is okay. 
Now, let's really think about it. What can do that? Because like I said, if we can figure out what can do that, we can figure out a way to remedy it. All right? Hmm. Let's see. A major illness can happen. Major illness and I want, I need the money to make sure my health, or you know, I have money to pay my hospital bills. Or whatever. Well, that's why I have health insurance. But let's say that's not enough. Let's say mom, dad, something happens health-wise. Now, at that point, it's no longer about silver. At that point, who cares? As long as I get to live, right? It doesn't even really matter. Matter of fact, that's why I started stacking, right? An emergency fund, right? See, stuff like that. Now, when you look at it from that perspective, you're more of a, it's more of a, hey, who cares about silver? I have life. I would gladly give everything I have just to make sure I have life, right? Now, when you look at it that way, what can I do to prevent that? It's unknown. I can just make sure I eat healthy, I make sure I eat right, I make sure I exercise, which I already do. I take my vitamins, which I already do. Like, I'm real king on vitamins. Honestly, I should make a separate channel just talking about vitamins, as much vitamins as I take. And in fact, not just vitamins, on health. As much as I exercise and take vitamins and make sure that I'm in tip-top shape. Well, not in tip-top shape, I mean, I, I feel like I could be a little bit more muscular, but hey. See, when you put your mind in a situation like what would have to happen to actually cause me to sell my silver, and now you can remedy that, okay? So what would I have to do to avoid all this? I have to brand myself out, start a business, which I'm doing now. I have to make sure I have something that provides for me day in and day out. Because let's really put it, Apple, one of the biggest company in the industry. If the CEO of Apple has a health issue, you mean he has more than enough money to take care of that. If he has gold or if he has silver, which I'm pretty sure he does because you need silver for the iPhone, but that's the company that's not his maybe, he do. I'm pretty sure he has way more and more than enough. Like that's just like 1% of his income to take care of all that. Now I, it's like I'm putting myself in a different mind frame. What can I do? What can I do? You feel me? When you ex exercise your brain power, you see stuff in a different light, right? So that's pretty much all that can happen to me right now that I'm trying to remedy that would make me sell my silver. But besides all that, I'm holding, I will always, if not, I will never sell all my silver. The video is done, but the conversation doesn't have to be. Let's continue this conversation down in the comments below. Guys, thank you so much for watching another video of Urban Lifestyle. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and have a wonderful day. That's why I work